a lovely day today here at Icarus Full Cymru. Um, come and see us, holdenby.com of course, if you want to find out about the ticket info and entry. Uh, you get to see the historic gardens, the tea room, um, and of course the birds of prey from our end, the wildlife menagerie, and our four talks every Saturday and Sunday. Talks will fly and display, so we've flown Nigel to Harris talk, and we talked a bit about what full Cymru is. We've flown Kyle's uh, hybrid, hi, hybrid falcon. Um, Uncle Pete and Auntie Diane, have, as you know, brought in the moth trap or the contents of their moth trap last night, and we really did wow people with uh, the world of moths. Again, they're not grey brown little things that annoy you, stunning things, as hopefully you've appreciated earlier in the video. What else? Oh, Bob, Bob Wilson, chainsaw carver. He and his children brought in their ferrets, and people really love meeting their ferrets. We learn about the history of ferrets, what ferrets do, ferrets as pets, and really just a, an enjoyable day and of course in the wildlife menagerie out there people have enjoyed seeing Roxy the Fox and our bullheads and minnows, the hedgehog, harvest mice and so on and so forth and there's the boys it's end of the day they've brought their own birds from home up um, and just just really um, <laughs> and just really really helped out as they do most weekends so winding down now we're gonna have a tidy away check everything's okay and then we've just got to put uh, Sky, the the little Lana Falcon hybrid that Jackie's been working with, we're going to put her through her paces and give her a little training session and then it's home, um, shower, food, bed and then repeat in so much as back to work all week now until the summer holidays, lots and lots of schools and school educational visits to get through so enjoy the rest of the video, we'll see you soon. Here's an unusual little bird. Try bread full it's not mine. Hang on. Oh, look at this. So that is a, a jur falcon, crossed with a peregrine falcon, crossed with an aplomado falcon. Let me turn the camera around and you can see certainly the aplomado in there. Okay, it's just had a bath, but you can kind of see the aplomado frontage. Very much a peregrine head and tail, barred like an aplomado, and halfway between the two peregrine and the aplomado in length. Look at that. A weird tribred falcon. Very pretty. So we've just done a moth trap talk, thanks to Pete and Diane. So we've got some beauties in here that brought me. Swallowtail. Pepper moth. Beautiful elephant hawk moths. Look at those. And somewhere in here, there's a small elephant hawk. Look at this. So it's different species. Well, I've not actually seen these before. It's a small elephant hawk moth. You can see the difference. And of course, beautiful privet hawk moth. So British species, common in your gardens. Absolutely amazing. And this creature. If you get the chance to have a set of moth trap in your garden, or make one or buy one, this is really a never ending world of fascination. This will stay in here now and then we let go before we leave. We're right into the bushes so the birds don't eat them. Look at these. I think the swallowtail for just elegance. Look at that. Yeah, I just um, so, lots of little bits on the top that I can't get off. You did see a little frog. Oh, brilliant. Just, just swim down. So there's still some, there's still in, some there. in there. There's plenty of smoothness <laughs> in there. So I keep seeing those guys. Yeah. Getting a lot of leaves but, come up and, and like seeds. Yeah, a lot. Like that, that, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you can see them on there. Yeah, the young conkers. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, there's certainly plenty of great crusty newts around. But because it's not, it's because I'm not here when it's dark then, at yeah. night in the summer, I don't lamp it to see if there's any in there, yeah. you know. The trouble yeah. is, without weed.
here's one of my favourite moths, the day flying burnet moth, one of the burnet moths. <laughs> almost club like and so their antennae, almost making them look even more butterfly like in, in so much as their antennae and the fact they're out in the day advertising their toxic tastiness so things don't eat them absolutely gorgeous they're just so cute i think they really are so busy roadside verge not somewhere where you can take your children but now they're left like this these have become lovely grassland habitats and i've got 20 minutes literally 20 minutes to get out between school talks and a lunch break. So it's 20 minutes drive, 20 minutes back to this verge. I'm actually looking for adders. It's too overgrown really, but beautiful meadowland just on the edge of a roadside. We've seen marbled whites, we've seen ringlets, we've seen skippers, we've seen burning moths, we've seen grasshoppers. Absolutely fantastic habitat. Bizarrely by the edge of busy main roads. Some lovely wildflowers amongst this grass as well. One of my favourite butterflies for sure, the marbled white. Look at this, hardly a colourful butterfly. Let's look at those under wing markings there, the marbled white. Not common in Northamptonshire when I was a kid, they're getting common now. A bit of roadside detritus. And look at this beautiful creature under here. Beautiful slow worm. Herping at its best. A dinner break. A dinner break session. Not found any adders, but a beautiful, beautiful slow worm. Legless lizard, if you didn't know. Totally harmless. Anguish fragilis. This is a lovely sub adult specimen. Let's let this guy go. Back under his junk in the roadside burn. Tiny baby slow worm under here. Under a tiny little bit of rubbish. Just under there. Look. All along, a busy roadside. Nature is still working. Hours lunch break, 20 minutes each way to this site. Roadside verge near a forest. You can see and hear how busy it is. And yet, literally in a stroll along the edge of the verge, we found three slow worms, glorious butterflies, and a really good variety of wild plants and flowers. That's how every single lunch time should be for sure. Recharged, ready for 60 more children, where we're going to meet a variety of animals talking about animal groups this afternoon. How amazing is that?
Yeah. So that, what is it? It's the first carrot we've grown. <laughs> like watching David Bellamy at work, this is. Oh, hello. <laughs> Zaki's harvesting her first ever crop from her first ever vegetable patch. Hidden treasure. We've just been to preschool today and this lovely jungle nymph stick insect. Look at that. <laughs> One of the stars. Very, very quickly, but if you know who if you know how to stroke her and where to stroke her, no problem at all. But look at that for a a mini beast. Hardly mini at all. I love some of the bigger things, but you do have to stop and look at some of these invertebrates. My passion for wildlife started with invertebrates in the garden. And they're no less fascinating and wonderful than they've always been. The jungle nymph is a firm favourite. The bearded dragon lizard. The ambassador of reptiles across the world probably nowadays. Something that pretty boring looking lizard as lizards go. But their attitude and pet like ability. Domestication of breeding nowadays in captivity. Certainly the reptile in many, many households. And why not? What a lovely personality they are. Now the rainbow boa, beautiful as it is. Look at that. I can't sell this to you in here. Let's go out in the sunshine. Can you see that lovely iridescence? Absolute beauty. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, we'll see you in the next video.